tapos na natin yung time series ng quantitative approach ng ng forecasting demand so we will now go on to the associative forecasting methods we have two the regression and the correlation analysis so sa linear regression we will use the formula from the trend projection ay po, yun yung gagamitin nating formula for linear regression. So, the same lang sila. So, ang pinagkaiba lang nila is yung relationship between the variables. Diba? So, sa trend projection, so, they have a positive relationship between the two variables. Ibig sabihin, um, merong uh, parang dependent yung dalawang, yung dalawang variables na yun. So, sa regression naman, so, meron tayong independent tsaka dependent variables. Okay po. So, pag sinabing linear regression, procedure that models a straight line relationship between two variables. For example, a marker, um, sorry, a maker of personalized golf shirt has been tracking the relationship between sales and advertising dollars over the past four years. The results are as follows. So, use linear regression to find out what sales would be if the company invested $53,000 in advertising for next year. So, ang kinukuha niya dito, eh, ay ang inahanap niya dito is yung relationship ng sales kung mag invest siya ng $53,000 sa advertising. Kung baga, meron bang relationship yung sales tsaka yung advertising, di ba? So, to compute, using the linear regression with the formula from the trend projection, kung matatandaan ninyo, di ba? So, so, yung, ang gagawin natin is that we have the value of x. So, assume natin yung, sorry, uh, baliktad. Um, this is the y and this is the x. Okay pa. So it can be yung x nat, yung y natin is the dependent or independent doon sa advertising natin. Okay pa. So yung total ng y natin is equals to 589. So yung total ng x natin is 189. X and Y, 130 times 32 is equals to 4,160. Then, 151 times 52 is equals to 7,852. Then, 150 times 50 is equals to 7,500. 158 times 55 is equals to 8,629. So, yung total natin for x, y, or yung submission natin is 28,202. Okay po. Yung x squared natin, 32 squared is equals to 2,304. Fifty-two squared is twenty-seven. Eight two thousand seven hundred four. Fifty squared is two thousand five hundred. Fifty-five squared is three thousand twenty-five. May total tayo na nine thousand two hundred fifty-three for x squared. For y naman. 4,160 squared is equals to 16,900. I'm sorry, sorry. 130 squared pala yun. 130 squared, we have 16,900. So, 151 squared, we have 22,801. One hundred fifty squared, we have twenty-two thousand five hundred. One hundred fifty-eight squared, we have twenty-four thousand nine hundred 
Yung summation natin ng y squared is equals to 87,165. Okay po. So, compute muna natin yung mean ng x. 189 divided by 4 is equals to 47.25. Yung mean ng y is equals to 589 divided by 4 is equals to 147.25. Ano yung first step natin? Compute the parameter B, di ba? Parameter B. Ito yung slope or the intercept. Di ba? Intercept. Tignan natin. B is equals to summation, yung formula natin na Y, XY minus number of period, multiply the mean X and mean Y divided by summation ng X squared minus number of period multiplied ng mean X squared. It is equals to summation ng XY. So, yun. 28,202 minus number of periods X and Y, 47,000, ay 47.25, multiplied by mean Y, 147.25. Divided by, this is X, right? We have X squared. I mean, Sean, it, it is 9,253 minus 4. X mean squared, 47.25 squared is equals to 371.75 divided by 322.75. Parameter B is equals to 1.15. Okay po. For parameter A, slope, yes, we're talking about the slope. So, ang slope natin is equals to A is equals to mean ng Y minus B mean ng x. Ano yung mean y? 147.25 minus b. Ito yung value ng b natin, di ba? 1.15 multiplied by 47.25. So, yung slope natin is equals to 92.25 Okay po. So, compute for the linear trend. Ano yung trend natin? So, yung y is equals to a plus b x. So, yung trend natin is equals to 92.83 plus ano yung b? 1.15 x. Ito yung trend natin. Okay po. So, sabi niya kanina, anong relation, ano yung magiging sales niya kapag nag lagay siya ng, or nag invest siya ng $53,000 sa advertising. ba? So, itong mga ano natin is in thousand dollars Ano po? So, yung Y natin is equals to 92.83 plus 1.5 multiplied by 53,000 is equals to what? 
87. Okay po, in thousands. So, magiging sales niya, tingin nyo ba, nag-increase. So, yung magiging sales niya is 153.87 in thousands. So, yung sales, yung X natin, ito yung advertising. Okay po, yung Y, yung sales. 53 advertise, diba? Nakukuha po. Ganun lang din siya kadali. Okay po. 